Trying to stay happy. And I am. Actually, I got to tell you something. I've been alive for like 24, about to, about to be 25 years on this planet. And the happiest I've ever been was the other day. It was the happiest I ever been. And I know for a fact the reason why I was the happiest I've ever been was because I didn't have my fucking sociopathic fucked up family attached to me. Fuck you, Alex. You're a dumbass, first thing. Uh, no, you didn't believe in me. Fuck you, Cassandra. I don't even know you. But fuck you for hitting me up and going, tell you what, I lost the battle in an argument. How about we just see each other in two weeks and then you never see me? How about we'll have a meeting in two weeks from now, we'll pick them up. It never happens. You're fake as fuck. And to my mom, you're a sociopath. You're a sociopath. To my grandpa, thanks for stealing $6,000 of my money that God gave me. Appreciate you. Um, I will never, ever, even if I die, I don't give a fuck. I don't care at all. If I die, I will never, ever, 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 ever see you fucks again. I don't ever want to see you fucks. If I ever see you fucks, it's because I call on the cops to get my shit out of your house if you haven't burnt it. Outside in the street. Because you guys are fucking sociopaths. And then when I had the happiest day. The other day, I knew what it felt like to have no pain. Every time I went out to achieving a goal, there wasn't somebody knocking me down levels. Calling cops. Stopping me. Rerouting. About to buy a house. No, thanks for the family intervention that fucked that up. Oh, he's homeless. It always keeps playing out to where I need you. I don't need you. I didn't need you. But you keep thinking about me. You keep manifesting me in your reality. You won't stop looking at the fucking phone and stalking me. But when I'm around, you want to down me. You don't give a fuck. Do you understand how dark that is? Let me be. Do you know what I mean? Let me be. If, if you don't, you don't love me. I don't even know if some of you people know what the fuck love is. I'm, I really am in a good mood, but this has got to come out. I'm fucking done. I never, for the rest of my life, I'm not going to a single place to eat with you fucks. I'm never sleeping in your homes again. You're not allowed in my home when I get it. Anything. All of you. Besides maybe Jacob. Besides that one person, maybe. I don't have an opinion about him right now. He hasn't done anything yet. He hasn't been fucking brainwashed by you guys enough. But you're, you're all wolves in sheep clothing. You're fucking horrible. I've had the best time. I can't tell you about it because you're just praying for my downfall. And that's why I'm not going to tell you about it. I'm not going to tell you about the awesome things I've done recently or uh, the amazing. I can't. Not allowed. Why? Because you just are you're just sitting there. Not living your life. Destroying mine. So now that I've got that intensity out, because um, it needed to get out, um, Blow your fucking head off. I, that's listen for everybody watching this on Facebook. I'm at a level. This is how, how this is how deep I know my mom. Ready? If you blow your fucking brains out, I wouldn't give a fuck. That's I've seen behind the mask. It's just fucking. <gasps> There's nothing there. You're a fucking sociopath. It's just the truth. Sorry for everybody else around. Anyway, um, and I have I've been raised by you. So now I have to deal with my sociopathic tendencies thanks to you guys. I've had to work on it thanks to you guys. I'm an empath. This shit sucks. You know how hard it is being surrounded by a bunch of fucking sociopaths? It wasn't easy. That's why the other day I was sitting in my car broke at Walmart. And it was the happiest I ever been. Ever. Not happier than driving a truck, happier than having a thousand bucks in my pocket, happier than skydiving, happier than going to France, happier than going to Amsterdam. I was just happy not to fucking be attacked.
by you. I was just happy just to be alone. Because I didn't have to deal with you guys. And I'm... I don't know what's going to happen with my life from this moment on. I don't care. I know it's going to be the best fucking life imaginable because you're not in it. You're not allowed in it. So you can do whatever you want. You want to keep stalking me for the rest of your life? You do that. You waste your fucking life doing that. I don't care. I'm not. I'm free. And I'm not going to end this with I love you guys. To the people that watch this on Facebook, you know if I love you. I love everybody, but not sociopaths. No, I've decided I'm, I'm good. I've walked towards my death with, for a sociopath once. It happened. I'm not telling you that story. You don't deserve it. But the point is, no, not for you guys, not for you fucks. Christine Marty, you're not my mom. You're nothing to me. Nothing. Look at that hot chick's ass. Oh, that's how we're going to end that. That's how it's going to end now. I'm going to end it with a fucking joke. Look at that hot chick's ass. Ain't that great? Bye, everybody. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Hang on. I got to get a laugh in there. That was funny. That chick's ass bobbing up. That was funny. Um, no, but seriously, though. Yeah, I guess I'm good. Yeah. I feel better already. You know why? Because it's the truth. I, I couldn't give a shit. I, I did. I cared so much. I even went through humiliation. I let you all think I was a fucking loser. I just kept just... Why? You guys can't create your own happiness. You don't give a fuck about cr creating any happiness or love for anybody. But you'll definitely fucking down somebody in your own family. Your own kid. You'll down your own fucking kid. You'll call the cops on him. You are going to try to send me to fucking rehab when you're an alcoholic. You're going to send me to rehab because you are a sociopath and you can't admit your problems. And I even gave you the opportunity. When I said goodbye forever, I meant it. But you wouldn't stop thinking about me and you manifested me back into your life. And I even took it. I walked in on Christmas, sat there. Everybody's like, oh, he didn't actually leave. You know why? Because humility is the best path. Believe me. Oh, I got a story for you guys. I got a story for you guys. This is another one for my mom. Thanks for putting me on fucking pharmaceutical drugs and then later blaming my dad for getting me hooked on meth. You gave me fucking Vivans when I was a kid. I went to school once. I had 70 milligram Vivans and I had to do a report on all topics. <laughs> Depression. And I went to school and I put four of those bitches in my pocket. I took two of them before I got on the bus. They didn't kick in yet. And I took two more. I had the most humiliating overdose in front of my entire class. Thanks to the fucking meth and a pill that you got for me, mom. And I really appreciate it because I lived my whole life. And I never told anybody because you wouldn't let me. Because if I did, I mean, what the fuck? We throw me into a fucking mental asylum because you're insane. Thank you, cars. I'm th literally the best day of my life was the other day broke, homeless, because I you weren't fucking up my life. I, it was the best day, better than anything, better than helping other people. Better, I've helped so many people. Oh my god, I've given orphans fucking rides. I've given a one-legged pirate ride. You have no clue how many people I've fucking helped. I've given six hundred bucks to the homeless this year. I'm giving my car away to a motherfucker for free. The next day, he gets in a head-on collision in his truck. Guess what he needed? My fucking car. But you know what my grandpa said? It was stolen. And then he steals my six grand. He lied. I mean, you're all insane. I'm so, I'm so happy to get this out. You're fucking insane. You think I'm going to just live with you or be in your life when you stab me in the back, steal my money, tell everybody I'm a drug addict, and all I fucking do is help people because I'm a nice guy and I never spoke up? Guess who's going to become a fucking public speaker? This guy. I have no care about what anybody thinks anymore about how I talk. I'm going right on fucking TV. At first show, I'm not getting a single fucking job. I'm not, I'm not working at McDick's or anything, I'm going to keep fucking striving until somebody gives me a fucking microphone and an audience. 
or I die. And since my mom's called the cops on me so many fucking times, I couldn't even give a shit. I've had so many guns in my face. I've lived in the hood in St. Louis. You have no clue how many guns I've had to deal with. And now that you're not in my life, I don't have to deal with any of that shit. Oh. Goodbye forever.